klezmer meant the person who plays the music. I am a klezmer. Klezmer musicians were looked down on. You're lower than the waiter because they think they're a drug addict, they're gonna go have sex with my daughter, whatever, you're gonna eat all the food. Klezmers are just crazy people. I've seen them do klezmer music, I've seen them do jazz, I've seen them do spirituals, Woody Guthrie, uh, Peter, Pete Seeger, I mean taking every component of um, not just musical styles, but musical styles that have a reason. <laughs> People really feel a neshama. And neshama is the Hebrew word for soul. There was an old gentleman who said, uh, you know, when you sing and you're singing with the klezmatics, you give me goose pimples. And I said, these are not goose pimple. It's just your soul speaking to you. <laughs> Here we go. Um, everybody ready? Yep. Sure. And I'm gonna get through this world, and I think I can. For me, it still is unbelievable to be involved in this project. The whole theme of Woody's songs were like, that was my house. That was basically in my house. We listened to classical music, and we listened to Woody Guthrie and Pete Seeger. That was about it. For 20 years, we've been in a deep commitment to social justice, and we've gotten into issues of, of, of gay pride, of Jewish identity, of spirituality, of politics, of global interactions, of, of, of cross-national, cross-cultural collaboration, of linguistics. A lot of the things that we say are things that people you don't usually hear coming, coming from a, a band that plays Yiddish music, but um, I think it's important to us that if we're going to sing something that it has to it has to mean something to us and it has to mean something in our contemporary world excellent yeah you're singing the shit out of this gone shite <laughs> See you.